Hello everyone, it's Monday, so that means Mini Monday Madness, and we are doing some shells today. Yep, we're doing a Nautilus shell and a scallop shell, but we're doing it in different tones, and I've added some gold, because I am I guess I'm really in a gold, you know, phase these days with accents, and then I did one before that, which is a different type of shell with some um, coral around it, if you wanted to change it up and add that. So let's get started. All right, so I'll go over supplies. I have two pieces of Archer's 100% cotton cold pressed paper and three inches by three inches. I have my number eight Princeton long round velvet touch brush, water glass jars up here, I'm a pencil and gum eraser I use to pencil in my design. You'll need that. And paints and I'll go over as I use them. I did like a little practice show to see how it would come out. This one's kind of cute. You could add in coral like I did this in the end um, if you want or not. And just to, if you don't know how to draw a scallop or a nautilus shell, uh, I'll do a quick little, I can find my pen, <laughs> uh, tutorial on that. I mean, basically a scallop shell is kind of like a V, a little curve, right? Then we have this little, like, half moon. If you can't draw it like that, you just do half moon like that. And we're just going to do, like, little... Now that one's a little more um, pointy, like a V. I'm the one I'm working on today is more a wider V, like that. And then the Nautilus shell is just how you think of a Nautilus shell, just like that. And we'll be doing the little lines that go like this. It's that simple. I mean, if you can't figure out from that, you can always just look at reference online. Um, and like I said, I had pencil them with my 2H pencil. I love 2H pencils because they're very light. Um, I have the scallop shell here and the Nautilus one here. And why I did a practice one, because I don't think I'm going to necessarily do exactly how it's supposed to look. And I printed out, um, this is what a, a real Nautilus shell looks like. It has this brown tones. You know, I can do that or I can do it whatever tone I want. And the same thing with scallop shells, you'll see the similar tones, white with the brown. But, you know, the whole point is to have fun with it, change it up. So I want to keep it in those aqua blue tones. That's what I want to do. I mean, if you want to learn how to paint something realistic, that's fine. <laughs> it's not what I'm about. So I have um, turquoise paint mixed up over here. Someone asked me, what, how do you, what do you mean by creamy paint? Well, creamy is just, it's just the paint is a lot thicker than this. This is very almost watery paint. Uh, a creamy paint would be, see this is less water, this has a more thicker consistency. So by creamy, that means it's thicker, less water, not as con not concentrated, as hardly any water. So it's in between concentrated and very watery. All right, so I think we'll start with the Nautilus shell. Let's zoom in a bit. So I've got my Turk paint. I'll keep it next to you. I'm next to me. next so you can see it better. And I've got a paper towel, of course. I did mention that. Um, it's very loose, wet, so it's going to be light when I put it down. And I always dab it on my paper towel first. So I don't want this excess water everywhere. So I'm just going to hit the edge of the shell. And this goes like so. It has like this little round area that's kind of white in there. So I'm going to fill that in after I hit that edge with this pale. I'm going to leave a little bit of a halo right here. With this pale turkey aqua kind of color. I had some green in my brush so it made it more green. But I can add the blue tone in here too. So I'm just filling that in like that. See the halo? You can kind of see that. Now here, because it's still wet, I might want to put some other tones on the edge of it and let it bleed in a little bit. So I have a darker shade of the Turk. And it's not super loose. It's just a little loose. And then just dab it in on the edge here 
with the tip of this brush. So I like this brush because it's a very nice tip to it. I'm just dabbing in the edges. That I went around the first time. So hopefully, because it's this paper particularly, if it's not super wet, it's going to be wet, but not super wet. It will bleed in, have a nice bleed into it. You can see it starting to bleed into the other color. And if it doesn't, you can try to push it in, get it wet, so it does that. Now it's wet, more like damp, and you can go in again and add a darker color, even more darker than that. So I'm going to add my turquoise, but I'm going to give it a touch of burnt umber. And a little more umber and a little more turquoise. There we go. And just going to tip, tap that in every other spot. And just over here on the edge. It's already giving it a nice pattern by doing that. I'm going to clean up my brush. I don't know if I want so much of that. I can start to push it in towards the middle. So you're getting that Nautilus pattern. And for now, I'm going to let this dry because I want to work on that in a bit. We're going to work on the scallop shell. So I want to keep the color tone similar what I was doing the first one. Like I said, you can do it more in the beige tones, more realistic tones if you want to do that. Um, I'm not choosing to do that. I might do a little brown accents. So I have burnt umber over here mixed with the sun yellow. You see that? So I actually might start with some of that, the burnt umber, mix with some light yellow. It's a little loose. So we'll hit that scallop edge, the tip. Again with the lines. Now I'm going to clean off my brush and just get some water on it and push next to that line. And then I'm going to grab some of this turquoise. Oops. Kind of blend that into. So it's a combination of blending the brown with the turquoise. And I'm leaving a white space in between them. You see that little white space? I'm trying to get rid of that harsh brown line. If it stays, it's no big deal. Again, with this one, you can just put more turk on there. You want. So it's turquoise, but it has some of that. It has some of that um, brown, like light brown in tones in there. We're going to add some brown tones to the other one too. So you see that? Leaving that white space. We're just filling in. Now my paints, I got all kinds of mixture of colors in it. So if it comes out darker or whatever, or lighter, that's fine too because, you know, the shells are not a perfect tone. Now I'm going to add that brown in it again. Over here. In these lines and go back in and grab that turquoise and hit it next to it. What's more important is to keep that white line. Not hitting that. It's very simple. As you're painting this, add in that brown, grab some of that turk, 
the combination of the two is really pretty. Again, I'm going to grab some more turquoise paint. So I want a little brighter. Just go in and add some more turquoise where you feel like it's getting too brown. On the bottom of the scallop, you do the combination again. I put some turk in here. This is fairly wet. I'm actually going to dab my paper towel because it got too wet. You want to just put it down so it's damp, not super wet. And you can come in and grab that brown. Put it under on the bottom. And then grab some more of the turquoise. Just kind of mixing it around. You're going to have like a darker tone. You're blending the turk with the, the brown so it looks natural, even though it's more turquoise in them, shells usually white, but we want some tones, we want some color. You want it to have some pretty, pretty tones, beachy tones. You don't want it to have this, well, you could have it in beige if you want to. But I think the turquoise is prettier. Already it's just really pretty just like that. We're going to let that dry a bit. I'm going to add some detail to it. So coming back to the Nautilus, that should be dry. I'm going to grab some of that brown I had. The brown, tur brown burnt umber mixed with some light yellow. So it's golden brown. To that. Yep. Golden brown. And I'm going to clean up my brush, grab some more turquoise. Kind of go silent, simultaneously working back and forth with each other. All right. So I'll take some of this brown, I mix it with some of the turquoise. And we're going to do these like zebra like type lines. Actually, that's a good way to say it zebra. Now it came out kind of green because, you know blue and yellow make green. So I'm going to go back in and get that brown and the yellow. Put that on top. There we go. So you're trying to fill it in the zebra lake. So I have some brown, golden brown with the turk. I didn't want to make it like the, the picture I showed you where it was all beige brown colors, which is the natural way to do it. I wanted to change it up. To have it a unique look. You see that? It's like a zigzag zebra. Only it's not back and forth. It's just one line going down. You just zigzag it in there. Fairly simple to do has a nice pretty look to it. Okay, and now I'm going to grab the turquoise. I'm going to go kind of on the outside edge, oops, of some of those lines going inward. Just adding a little bit of turquoise. Don't mind that noise. My office is making all kinds of crazy noise with the heat. So I'm adding those pretty little lines. Now we're going to go back to the scallop shell. And we can add some turquoise just going across like this. See that? You see that in some of the shells. They have those patterns. Just filling it in. Now I realize as I'm looking at both of these, 
the scallop is really filling up this three inch square and the nautilus is not it's kind of small but that's okay i'm going to grab some of that brown sorry the golden brown and do some of those too you want to kind of coordinate the shells do a little brown by having similar colors and tones. Do a little brown, just up here. So now they coordinate because they have similar colors and tones. Now here you could add in, um, pull back. You could add in some coral, which is really simple. It's just these squiggly little lines. Or you can add in some gold touches Remember we talked about the gold? <laughs> I think I'm on a gold kink, a kink, um, kick. <laughs> Mondays. I think the gold would look beautiful with the turquoise and this brown. And you're just gonna add accents. And the gold that I've been using in past two tutorials is this, well, I don't know if I past two, maybe past couple of tutorials, this Liquitex acrylic ink. It's really great. Um, but nice thick just add in some gold here just in the brownies little dots little shimmer on the outside edges it's just pretty same thing with the nautilus you're going to add just just a touch it really just pops that whole thing up can see that just gives it oh, this is the first one I did I sometimes do practice shells I didn't really care for this one though but I might like it when I add the gold might like it better see the coral Just add some gold accents around the shell and the coral. Just really changes it up. I think this came out really pretty. These color tones. If you stick with the turquoise and that brown tone, which is basically golden brown, you can do a bunch of shells. You can download some shell pictures on the internet and just draw them simply but don't do the same colors as them do these tones It'd be really pretty even if I had a whole bunch of these you know in little frames they they sell three by three frames like little white frames a whole wall would be so pretty and so cute or if you just want to do it a card that would work too I think it's so cute so I hope you enjoyed my mini Monday Madness tutorial today um, thank you so much, everyone. I appreciate all your comments, likes, and shares. Um, this just helps my channel grow. And if you can keep sharing and subscribing and liking, it's going to help me in to do more tutorials. And thank you so much for stopping by. Have a great day.